Hello everybody, my name is Ben. I'm an HVAC technician in Minnesota and I was kind of cleaning my tool bag and I thought, why not show everybody what I carry in this thing? Um, I like watching tool bag loadout style videos. I figured I'd try my hand and make one myself. Um, so start off with, this is the, the Vito Pro Pack MB5D. Uh, this, is, this is my bag that I use for basically every service call. Um, I do have a different bag for doing maintenance stuff that's a lot lighter, that's, the, that's a TPLC. Um, but yeah, this gets me through pretty much anything I really ever need to do. Um, so I'll start out with all the, all the fun stuff in the make department. Um, this bag is basically laid out almost identical to, uh, the Vito Pro Pack TP double XL. So that, in fact, this, this whole, uh, panel here, um, is swappable between this bag and the, the blackout version or the, the, the V swap version of the, the TP double XL. Um, so you got four screwdriver slots, really eight, I guess, if you count these two, but I don't use those for screwdrivers. And then just a bunch of wider pockets for pliers and stuff and meter pockets on the side. And then a few other slots in the front here on this, this swappable panel too. So let's start off with just the small stuff I keep up here. These are the Knipex Super Nips. You usually use these for just, uh, just clipping zip ties flush. I hate it when people just cut a zip tie and leave a and leave a knife just sticking out in the air ready to stab you <laughs> so that's why i got that guy in there sometimes it's a little tricky to get things up in this slot there we go uh, next to that i've got this dewalt step bit that stays in this pocket i've also got another drill bit this is a what is this 13 64th um i, I use these for uh, wall anchors for thermostats mainly that stays in that one i use this little this is just a tiny little torque screwdriver but i basically use it as kind of a, a pick or basically to poke and prod at stuff i've also got this yellow jacket hose pick um, it, it stores a few gaskets and the actual hook part inside a super handy tool so that stays up there I got this little four inch crescent wrench good for small spaces not a super high quality wrench because the, there's plenty of play in the jaw, but it's just good for backup stuff. Oh boy. Some, yeah, sometimes these pockets are a little tough to get things in and out of if you don't store things in them actively, keep them kind of stretched out. And then this wider one, I keep the pair of the Knipex 100 or just the really the small Cobras and pliers wrenches. Again, good for tight spaces, backup. Oh, a lot of the stuff I carry in here is um extensions and just stuff you get into really tight spaces and just stuff you you don't need a whole lot but it's just it's just good to have so that's that stuff all stays up there i got this 12 inch dewalt locking extension i like these ones a lot because they're they're thinner like like just regular like kind of friction or magnetic bit holder but they lock you pull this collar back and whatever bit is in there will kind of um, loosen itself up so that guy sits back in that corner. Let's see. This is Vessel uh, Ratcheting Ball Handle uh, Bit Driver. And the best part is this pops off and this is now just a, a ratcheting stubby bit holder. So I, I don't keep anything in there because I don't use this very often. But that guy just sits there. Uh, I got this Klein Insulated Multi Driver Phillips and Flathead. I usually prefer not to work on live stuff if I can, and I pretty rarely have to. Um, but yeah, this is kind of back up. This is my Persuader. It's just a Weeha, good old de uh, demolition style beater screwdriver. And then my main screwdriver that I use most of the time is this Vessel Electric 3-speed one. So this is from uh, Japan, and so is that other ball grip one. But this is an awesome screwdriver. It's got plenty of speed um, and a, a fair amount of torque, too. Charged with USB-C, and it's just a regular old quarter-inch collet. And, and I keep, usually, in the in the chuck of it, this this one half of the Klein 11-in-1 Impact. And I keep the bits from the Klein HVAC 8-in-1. Uh, I, I swapped them out because I don't really need impact-rated bits for a screwdriver. So these are just better because it's just a Phillips and flat and then a thermostat style or size flathead. And then a a Schrader core, but I, I don't ever use the, use that. But yeah, so 
that's pretty much it for screwdrivers for the most part. Um, so for my vast collection of pliers that I keep in here, first off, I got 10 inch pliers wrench and Cobras. These are the quick set version of the Cobras. So if you, um, sometimes the, it, it doesn't work all the time. It's kind of, kind of finicky, but this is supposed to basically, if you set it and then you, you can kind of, it, yeah, it's not going to do it, but you can basically push it up and it'll kind of adjust itself up to whatever size you're, um, you need. So let's sit in there. I also have this pipe vice micro 10. This is used exclusively for half inch gas pipe. Um, it's just big enough that it does that. And it's just basically just a, a backer wrench. Um, it does not get big enough for the actual fittings, unfortunately. So this is, that's the only purpose that this has, but it's just, it, it's nice cause it's a very small, slim package for, for doing that stuff. Also, you got this Milwaukee eight inch, uh, wide jaw wrench. This is a nice one because it gets to, uh, let's see, there you go. Over an inch and a half wide, but it's a, it's a pretty small package too, for, um, just saving space. Next to that, let's see, got my seven and a quarter inch pliers and cobras wrench, or <laughs> cobras and pliers wrench. Those guys sit in this pocket. Next to those, uh, I got these Milwaukee crimpers. They're kind of redundant, but they, they just crimp better than like these, uh, my Lyman's here. Um, so those guys and these guys sit in this pocket. Next to that, got my, my twin grips. These will forever have a spot in my tool bag. These have saved my butt more than once with the, especially with the, the screw grabbing function on the, on the tip of them there. Super handy. In front of that, I got these long nose pliers from Kinepix. Good for getting in deep furnace cabinets and stuff like that. Uh, and then this slot, I keep these client automatic wire strippers. I do have like a, a depth gauge thing, but I just took that off because that wasn't really helping at all. Um, so yeah, those can stay in this pocket. Down in this slot, um, I'm trying out these these Klein sort of multi pliers. Um, I usually have the, the Milwaukee six in one kind of version of this. Um, it's spring loaded and I just, I've really come to love that pair, but I, I, I bought these cause I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna put these in a different bag. Um, for now, but I'm just kind of trying them out, seeing how they work. Um, next to those, I got these Weha, I believe they're called the, the bicuts. cuts So basically they're just a pair of diagonal cutters, but then you push this button and it changes how the, the leverage for the jaws. So they, they, they don't open as wide, but they can cut more uh, like thicker wire or um, like chain or something like that. So let's stay down there. Oh, find a screw, nice. Um, actually, I got my holstery magmaster for holding screws and stuff down here on the bottom. Uh, let's see. I keep, I keep, keep a few things in these little, uh, bit style pockets. Got one of these six inch DeWalt extensions. Have a, a Weha quarter inch nut driver. I have a, where is it? This is a 21 64th drill bit. This is specifically... In there because it, mat it almost exactly matches the diameter of the probe for my combustion analyzer so whenever we're doing a, a tune-up or something on a furnace we always do a combustion analysis to make sure it's burning right and that particular drill bit matches the the diameter of that hole perfectly so um i got my thermostat screwdriver this is the klein 14 in 1 precision um i don't know why, why more people don't seem to know about this thing this is an excellent like thermostat style driver. It's basically like they're, they're 11 or, or 10 in ones or whatever, but they're just smaller sizes. So you got two Phillips and flats, um, and then like four different torque security sizes. And then I think there's five or six different nut drivers as well built into this thing. All the different, uh, slots are, are different size nut drivers. The best part is that this is a quarter inch driver and the walls on it are super thin. So sometimes you got quarter inch screws that are kind of in awkward spots and they're butted up like right against another piece of sheet metal. That's what this guy's for. So those I'll stay on that side. 
Then on this side, this is a wobbling DeWalt extension. So you pop that collar up and now, now it wobbles and you can get into awkward angles and awkward spaces. A couple more extensions, just a regular Milwaukee like magnetic one and then one of the the shortest DeWalt locking one. So that's that. And then I also have this Weira rapiding T-handle or a ratcheting T-handle with the with their rap adapter. And it sits down there. I got a, <clears throat> a set of railer ball end hex keys. Um, I usually only use a couple sizes of these, but they're just good to have. The, let's see. In these pockets, I keep a few, mostly some wrenches. Uh, first thing is kind of this little combination I've, I've concocted. So I keep just a ratcheting quarter inch wrench. That's a husky one. And then I have a couple of these little clan ratcheting wrenches. And I pair this, these two with this DeWalt flip bit. And do that and that. And now this I use for basically um getting screws out of like a like, so, like some like magic packs or um some some older high efficient Linux furnaces they put the flame sensor in really tough spaces to get to and this basically allows you to remove the screw um past the point where there's no friction on the screw so you can't rely on the ratchet to ratchet itself back so that basically this wrench is acting as the friction and you can drive the screw in and out so that's the only reason I have this wrench. Uh, and then I have this little Dasco Pro pry bar that stays in there. I have this Uniweld uh, service wrench. I like this one more because the, the bit, this is the bit instead of just the kind of one side one. It doesn't always fit very well in, in some service valves. Sometimes they're deeper than that allows, but I like this one a lot. So that sits in there. Also I have a, a paint can opener, which is good for prying at things. Stuff all that back in there. Next to that, in this pocket, I keep my my mirror, which also has a this, this is kind of a, a combination of a few different Am cheapo Amazon specials, uh, but it's got a magnet on the end, and then it telescopes out. I've also got a couple brushes, a bottle brush and a, a steel brush, and then um, just this this gear wrench, three and seven sixteenths flare nut wrench. Basically, only use the 7 16 side because that is the size of the nuts for like pilot tubing on older furnaces and, and, and boilers and stuff like that. So that's why that guy's in the bag here. Next to that, I've got this Top Tease gas leak detector. Um, I always pass it over all my joints that I do when, I, when I'm doing a, like a gas valve or some kind of gas line repair. And then I don't really have anything that I have. That I use a lot in this slot, but right now I'm just I keep this. Uh, we are a torque driver, just kind of for the heck of it, just kind of something to fill that slot. So that's all the main compartment there. So let's zip this guy back up. In this front pouch, I keep my my parts case. So these are just some cheapos from Amazon. Got like fifteen, like four of them for like fifteen bucks. And pretty nice. So just a bunch of screws, wire nuts, crimp terminals, some fuses, some extra plugs off of uh, for gas valves and scrap clearance. So that sits in the middle there. Got an ink saw marker and a paint pen. Those sit click kind of clipped onto here. Let's see. Got my right angle attachment. Also got just a bundle of zip ties. And then I also have my, my uh, the six inch level from Milwaukee. It's got some good strong magnets in it. Bubbles are nice and bright on it, so very nice. And then I have my main set of jumpers. So this is kind of a, a custom thing that I did, but um, these alligator clips came from a, a set that I believe Kai Wheats sells on Amazon. They're just heavier duty than kind of the, the cheap, uh, the super cheap jumper leads. And I clipped them up and I crimped some 
ferro connectors on there and they fit perfectly into Wago connectors. So I have these two mainly and then I have three more. So basically I can have a two, three, four, five headed jumper if I need to. Um, if I got a, like a package unit with multiple stages of cooling and heating and stuff like that. But I usually just, just need the one the one set. So that stays there. I think that's it. Oh, never mind. Got a coil brush and then just a, a scratchy pad for cleaning up flame sensors or, or copper. Stuff like that. So that's that main pocket down here in the smaller room. I keep things for charging. So I got a little anchor USB-C charging brick. That stays down there. And I also have this Milwaukee USB battery charger. And along with those two things, this is the Rolling Square In Charge XL. So this is a six in one cable. And basically it, it can do USB A or C uh, to lightning. That's also micro USB or type C. So this is a, a super handy little gadget. And basically I can charge anything. I can either charge batteries in this or I can charge things with the battery in here or just from a, from a wall outlet. So those guys sit down in there. And then on this side I have this, this big old case of bits. So these are mostly Milwaukee Shockwave bits. Um, they don't sell this particular case with these holders. These particular holders came from a different set uh, that have just like regular driver bits, but I wanted these in particular because they can they're they're so dense storage wise. Uh, but yeah, F uh, Phillips flat square, Torx hex, all that fun stuff. Down here, this is a um, a Malco sawtooth bit they call it I think. So it's a quarter five sixteenths driver, and then it has teeth on it. So if you got a screw that's like painted over, or it's got duct mud on it or, or stuff like that, that is super handy for for just zipping those out. Um, this little contraption, this is a Gravit Pro. I have the rest of them down here. These are good for getting um, stripped plugs out of gas valves. And then to drive the, the, the bigger one, because the rest of these are just quarter inch, uh, but this one is, is a little bit bigger. So this is just a 11 30 seconds deep socket, quarter inch drive. And then this, this is a 711L um, adapter piece. And this goes from quarter inch square to quarter inch hex. So just a cool little socket adapter. Um, I got a couple longer hex hex keys, 330 seconds and 316 for uh, gas valves and stuff, plugs on gas valves, and then 316 and 516 here for service valves. I usually use those with the most Klein ratchet wrenches. And then some of these Milwaukee. Uh, nut driver bits these are super awesome because they're good for you know tight spaces but they're just they're a lifesaver i highly recommend you pick up a set um and this is a basically a a, squ uh, a female square for getting on like king valves so that's all that's in this case that guy sits in there in here i have I keep the, the other three heads on my jumpers here and then um, my little popper, the wires that came with it. Um, I keep a few of those those little short jumpers that come with the, the turbo 200 capacitors. Just keep a couple of those. Some of the magnetic jumpers that Subco makes. And those all fit pretty nicely into one of these newer Milwaukee cases. Sorry cram all those things in there and that guy sits in this little pocket down here and then clipped on the outside on this d-ring got a few things got some electrical tape white and black and some pipe thread tape got a weira magnetizer demagnetizer this little milwaukee six foot tape and then one of these vessel keychain bit holders which holds this Klein nine in one flip socket. This pretty much does all my needs for, for bigger bolts. 
and screws. I really don't have need for like a full socket set or anything like that. So that goes over there. And then, and this, this pouch is where I actually keep my meter. So I use the field piece SC 480. Um, it's a phenomenal meter, highly recommend it. It's got Bluetooth and everything. So super nice, just cool. Just quality of life stuff. I use the fluke modular leads and these are the, the twist guard tips that come that you can get kind of separately with it so that that guy just sits in there there you go and then in this little pouch i have a another one of these small cases with different attachments for, for my meter leads so i got some needle probes uh some alligator clamps and some piercing leads so i just sit in there and those cases fit perfectly in those little small pockets. And last but certainly not least, got my um, Milwaukee stick light. This is an excellent light. Got a super strong magnetic base as well as a hook. And then it, you can do on the one side, you can do light on the other side. You can do both sides or you can do out the front sort of a spotlight. And then also has two different brightness modes, although they're really not, they're really not that different. They're, one's barely brighter than the other, so I just leave it on the higher one. But yeah, I bought this with the magnetic charging dock, and that just stays in my truck. So when I need to charge her up, just throw her on the dock, and we're good to go. So that hooks onto that D-ring. And most important part, my M12 Surge. This is one of those tools I'd buy again in a heartbeat. Um, I actually, I actually gouged the, the rubber nose on it, so that, and I just kind of ripped it off because it looked rough <laughs> although this this driver has seen seen some stuff um, i've dropped this thing from a couple at probably a good four or five times from some pretty tall commercial roof hatches um, and every time slap the battery back in and comes right to life i always keep a two and a half amp battery you can't so two and a half high output one and i keep the klein quarter five sixteenths nut driver in the chuck pretty much all the time because um that's what I use mostly. And I like this one as opposed to like a Malco one um, or, or another brand because the quarter, well, both really, both the sides of the actual bit are just, they're more narrow and I just, I like it better. It, it's a little bit longer, like probably half inch or so, but I usually find that if I couldn't get into a space with this, I couldn't do it with the, the regular Malco. And that guy just sits hooked onto there. So yeah, that's my tool bag. Um, like I said, this is my full service bag. So this is what gets me through pretty much all, all day, every day. Um, yeah, that's all. Thank you.